cut a feet. I'm gonna cut a foot. <laughs> Not a feet. I'm gonna cut a foot on a on this ball and then one more tall ball. Just wanna show you. I think I've done probably done this before, but it's been a while. I really made sure to leave a lot of clay in these to have a nice I really wanted to have a nice tall foot. I like using a tool that's big enough for the job. Something that will make a nice cut. Not a little tiny tool. I want to really cut some clay out. And I don't want to fuss with it too much. I want to do it in as few cuts as possible. Although it does take some getting used to. If you had a whole whole bunch of these pots, like 20 or so, you'd probably get really quick at um, knowing how much clay to take away. I've only got six of these, so. So that's that one. Nice tall. Hope you can see that. Alright, and then I've got um, this one, which has got quite a bit of clay in the foot here. So we'll get a really tall foot. I like using this chuck, this chuck down here that I threw, because I can take the pot on and off of it. I need to pretty quickly and check it. Which I'm gonna do right here in a second as soon as I establish this change right here. I like this um this spiral that comes from having a wide tool and sort of moving it in a slow rhythm down the pot as the as the pot turns. If the pot was turning faster or I was moving the tool faster or slower I guess, moving the tool slower, then I would get a different mark. I already want to check and see how thick this is. I can just twist this and check it and that feels pretty good. I'm not going to take any more out of the clay wall there, maybe just a tad. Maybe just a tad here. Alright, I'm going to start working right here. There's quite a bit of clay in here, so it's just a matter of... down a little at a time. <clears throat> That's karma running around in the background. Let's see here. Still got a good bit to go. Try to really 
stick that on there good. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to tap that. And I'm not opposed to sticking my needle tool in that floor to see how deep that is. I'm going to do that in just a second after I get some clay off this wall. Still got quite a bit of clay there. I'm going to cut out one more swipe. And then I think that'll be it. The thing about these pots that have all this clay left in the floor is that <clears throat> they, they'll develop an S crack if, um, if they're left too thick. And I think it's mainly because um, that clay isn't compressed really well. So you have to either find a way to compress it or um, not leave it too terribly thick. I want this to have a nice shape out here. Alright, one more time in here. Hopefully it won't cut through the floor. I know this is a bit monotonous. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty nice. Nice tall foot. I'll show you the inside there. Okay. Got a few more of these to do now. <clears throat> 